So narcissistic injury or narcissistic wound. What happens when a narcissistic person or a toxic person that is personality disordered has their ego bruised, feels rejected or humiliated? Let's talk about that. I'm Lise Colucci. I'm a life coach here to help you with everything related to understanding narcissism and toxic behaviors in relationships. Hit the thumbs up, hit subscribe, and let's talk. Okay, so one thing... So one thing that happens is they might react with rage. They might react with lashing out, temper tantrums, sudden outbursts of aggression or violence. They are feeling humiliated. They are feeling trapped, exposed. Their feelings are out there for people to see, for you to see, for them to see. That's the point. They don't care really what you think. It's the fact that it's out there. They're vulnerable. And most narcissistic people do not like the feeling of vulnerability. They don't want to admit they have it. And or they want to say they have it, but it's really not vulnerability, right? Okay. So when that is happening, what you have is someone that cannot stuff it back behind the ego in that moment. You have someone that is being forced to look at something they don't want to see, and they are going to do everything they can to force that accountability onto someone else. They're going to do everything they can to push it outward away from themselves and make it about the other person. They're likely to smear. They're likely to go on the go on a mission to make your life miserable, to have everyone around believe you're the problem or whoever the target of their, um, if you've been in a relationship with one and, or they're your parent or, or anything, if you are in connection with them, if you are the source of supply and they go into narcissistic wound, narcissistic collapse over something that caused a narcissistic injury, meaning their ego's bruised, right? Big time, they can't hide they're vulnerable, they're exposed, they're gonna smear you. They're gonna point the finger at you. They're gonna, basically they're taking the spotlight that they feel and they're like, Shoop, and they put it on you. And so they're gonna tell lies about you. They're gonna come after you. They're going to make your friends believe certain things by telling them lies and, and untruths and all the, and everything they can to get the focus off of them onto you. They're gonna call you crazy. They're going to call you toxic. They're going to say you're a narcissist. They're going to do all of that to take the focus off of themselves for themselves. Because normally what they do is if they feel a twang of, of self-realization that shows how they actually are in life, they shove it behind their ego and project outward onto other people, right? So they force you to take the accountability and carry the weight of doing the work for them that they should be doing in their own lives. I have even heard of a narcissist who had such a huge narcissistic injury from somebody, somebody he couldn't please, somebody he couldn't um, basically please in a situation that on his deathbed 50 years later, that's the thing he remembered, <laughs> right? So it goes a long way. They are in constant need of approval, praise, and attention that's going toward them. They need to set the narrative that tells the world who they are, who they think they are, who they want the world to believe they are, based on the delusion that they have about themselves. And when that is shattered in any way, it's probably confusing, it's probably infuriating. And then they have to do everything they can to build it back up and, and get back into their comfortable place of being narcissistic. Have you experienced watching, witnessing, anything like that, a narcissist going through narcissistic injury or narcissistic wound? Tell me in the comments what you've seen and how they've acted towards you or toward others. And let's talk more about this. Again, I'm Lise Colucci. Hit the thumbs up, hit subscribe. If you need coaching, group coaching or peer support, Check out the main description in the video and I will see you guys next time.